so this is the daily chart on Purion Networks and as you can see price gap down this past Monday alongside its preliminary Q1 results they set their revenue is set to miss Wall Street estimates for the quarter the company also lowered its fiscal 2024 revenue guidance so this gap down caused this monthly sellers level to be established and we're going to say that is at $23 so that's a monthly sellers level at $23 question is how far is price going to move lower and so if I just kind of squeeze up the chart this $10 level is a level of interest for multiple reasons number one it's a round hole psychological number but you have support resistance should become support once again scrolling down to the weekly chart so far for the week we have an indecision candle so this gap lower is given investors a chance to decide what they want to do next whether they want to get out get in etc etc you also have a gap fill down to the $80 level so when I look at the charts between eight and ten dollars will be the level one should consider going long all right now before we drill down to the daily chart let's look at this news so the digital advertising solution company expects revenue for the quarter to be 157 million that's well below Wall Street's revenue estimate of 176 million even though it's an in eight percent increase year over year from 145 million now Piron Network notes that changes to Microsoft's Bing's search distribution marketplace harm this revenue resulting in a decrease in search advertising activity. Here's what the CEO of Piron Network had to say. Management and our board of directors are confident that Piron is competitively well positioned for continued success within the digital advertising landscape and thus approved an increase to our buyback program from 50 million to 75 million capitalizing on our strong cash position. Now unfortunately Perion Network's updated fiscal 2024 guidance isn't helping its stock. The company now expects revenue for the year to range from 590 million to 610 million. That's down from the prior estimate of 860 million to 880 million. It will also miss Wall Street estimates of 868 million for the year. Alright so got the fundamentals. This is the technicals. I do want to look at this area on the daily chart. You can see these high volume bars signify that there's definitely buyers at in that area. So again, this is the volume bar for this extended range green candle and as you can see volume was heavy between uh, December 20th uh, 2020 and March 2021 which took price all the way up to $26 before pulling back so scrolling out to the monthly chart again We call this the accumulation area. And as you can see from the past, this was a level of interest where price loved to have gravitated to. And so again, I don't think the stock has bottomed, but it is within $3 from bottoming. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.